Yo, what's up, YouTube? What up, fam? What up, friends? Yeah, uh, I told y'all I'll uh, give you an update about what's going on here. Um, by the time you see this, I'm probably already in Wilson. Found a new company to go with, way better. I'm gonna be hauling uh, sand for the oil field. And it's, um, I'm actually pretty pumped that it's not a, uh, what do you call it? It's not a tanker position. A tanker position meaning like I won't be hauling water and I don't gotta worry about a surge and all that. So pretty pumped. All it is is uh, taking a sandbox, picking up a sandbox, taking it one place, dropping it off and getting paid and just repeat. And um, pretty sure my hours are looking like from 12 to 12, 12 a.m. to 12. So I should be able to run some, some goodness there. And um, I'm an early riser, so waking up early is my thing. So I'll be waking up super early, which is cool. I don't mind. There's a, any t anytime fitness in uh, town, so I'm just going to grind it out. Grind it out and just keep working my way to the top, man. Got this whole mentality thing down. Um, waking up early, you know, like I won't be able to wake up at the same time, but I'll have the same philosophy of what I'm doing. Um, anyway, so I want to show you this apartment what I'm leaving at and I guess I'll get into it later on in this video why I'm exactly leaving this farm um, yeah but I want to show you this this apartment first it's kind of and then later when I tell this story you'll be like wow this this guy is ridiculous the um, guy I was working for I'm thinking about taking um, Taking some action on that, but uh, yeah, go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so that's all my stuff there. I'm packed it up, but take a look at this. This happened when I was when it was raining, but it gets better. Dun dun dun. Boom. He said this house is up to code. This house is not up to code. To my understanding, this is not code uh, worthy. Look at that. There's other things about the house I can think of, but there's a big leak. It smelled bad in here. So I went ahead, I know an old trick, it's uh, you cut an onion in half and it works as a natural, um, natural air refreshener. I'm, I'm cleaning it up here again, get out of here. Just wanted to make this um, video. Yeah, look at this place, it's a fucking mess. And they wanted to, I'll, I'll get into it later while I'm driving up to Wilson. But uh, yeah, just a few things like, does that look up to code? I don't think so. How about this? What if I uh, electrocute myself, one of your employees? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, this place was a mess when I got here. It had cockroaches, it had ants. Thankfully, I've lived places that are, well, I've lived places with cockroaches, ants. I don't, I don't know if I'm thankful for that. I guess I am in this situation, but um, yeah, I definitely am thankful for that. But yeah, um, so I got rid of those. That came out of pocket. I didn't ask for shit. And then they want to go ahead and bitch at me about stuff. Doesn't make any sense. So it was a good experience here though. I learned how to drive a truck and I'll get back to you guys later. Next clip, let's go. Got my butcher box. Now I'm waiting for Sean to get out of work to put all my meat inside of his freezer. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done this, but here we go, right. Oh yeah, pouring outside the cup. Miss. Got the yolk though. Ah, this shit feels good, man. Missed the fucking cut though. God damn, all that protein, damn. God damn, god damn. All right, what up YouTube, what up world? What up friends, what up fam? Yeah, this is the update I was telling you about. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> That farm was crazy, man. I, I, I wasn't trying to be like no Debbie Downer to anybody calling in and be talking on the phone with everybody, but. On my way to Williston, North Dakota. About to say North Carolina because I'm from the East Coast, but I'm going to North Dakota, man. I'm in North Dakota. Come on, Ken, come on, come on. 
the pizzeria, the pizzeria, the mozzarella, come on. I got a little cappuccino. Nah, I just drink regular coffee, man, but uh, pretty soon it will be espresso. When I'm back in Sicily, man. All right, that was totally off topic, but uh, what are we talking about today? Oh yeah, we're heading up to Williston right now, man. On to bigger and better things, man. I, I took the farm as a, um, let me see, a seed, I planted a seed in my head and uh, learned how to drive truck and trailer. I already had my CDL, but I really didn't know how to shift that well. So now I'm a fucking badass. I can, I can do these streets up here. I know I can shift. I know I can maneuver the trailer, you know what I mean? Got all that rustiness out of me when backing up and all that. So we're ready to go, we're ready to shine up here in the oil fields, man. So I'm heading up to uh, Cousin Sean's spot. He's a construction worker up here in, what's the name of the town? Watford City, man. Watford City, another oil town, but he's doing construction. I think alongside the oil, you know? Wherever there's work up here and whatever, wherever it pays, it's alongside the oil might not be on the field like real men like real motherfucking men no nah, i'm just playing but um yeah cousin sean doesn't even know how to frack yeah um yeah so i'm headed up there because i just got butcher box in today i got thank god it came in at like 12 because or if not i was gonna have to wait around all day until it came because cousin sean is the only place for me to put a where i can put my freezer stuff and my refrigerator stuff, which I had a whole bunch. I kind of had to skip out of the farm real quick because uh, shit got ugly quick. But uh, we're not going to be here talking in negative shit. And I couldn't order. I mean, there was there was uh, not too much stuff there at the farm, at the house I was living at that I could have left all my stuff and not even been tripping. But it was the butcher box that just came in. And that's like $200 worth of meat. And all that meat is... Uh, organically cultivated so that's stuff I need really I was talking about hey sorry about that y'all all right sorry about that y'all uh, I had a phone call can't, can't come in and uh, I just learned I just had to put my shit on uh, airplane mode because I'm still running off the iPhone GoPro is coming very soon probably the next paycheck because I want to record out here record 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 I want to teach y'all stuff. I want to be funny. I want to be inspirational. I want to do everything. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on right now, man. All good stuff. Where were we at, though? So, we're heading up to Williston. Oh, yeah, the butcher box stuff. My organic meat. Going to drop off with Cousin Sean. Uh, he has a big friggin' commercial um, kitchen going on up there. And I'm going to be living inside with trucks, so... I'm gonna keep all my stuff there. And I'm actually uh, pumped about living inside of a truck because I need to simplify my life, man. I, I figured, um, well I know from recent experiences here that the more simple I get with my life, the happier I am, the more, um, I don't know, that the world's a better place that way, man. And I'm uh, trying to help y'all get at that level as well when we just simple, uh, we don't need much, man. I need my food, that's why you see all the coolers and stuff like this. And uh, I got some clothes and I just grabbed everything from the house, man, because I didn't want to leave anything behind. Um, I figured whatever I don't need, I might as well give it to my cousin Sean, who's on the come up right now. You know what I'm saying? When somebody's on the come up, you gotta, you gotta support that shit, man, I'm telling you. When you see the fire in somebody's eyes, you better fucking support them if you're in the position to support them, because you never know when that's gonna be you. you never know when you're gonna be in a bad relationship, you're gonna get laid off, you know what I mean? This shit happens to everybody, man. I don't care, I don't care who you are, man. It could be Trump, it could be Lil Wayne, you could be a professional basketball player. That shit happens all the time, man. You make millions of dollars and all of a sudden one day you don't got no money because you were support, supporting everybody around you or you're making dumbass decisions, man. We're all human, you know what I mean? We all make dumbass decisions. We all want to support people that we uh, surround ourselves with and then when the money stops all of a sudden you're done so you got to remember that man when once you once you're making it you know what i mean just like uh arnold schwarzenegger says man reach back and grab somebody and bring them up too because you did not get there alone as much as everybody wants to say or not everybody but certain people want to say self-made self-made this self-made that nobody's self-made man 
Nobody's self-made. If you were self-made, you'd be God, man. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm heading up to Wilson. Wilson's a badass oil rig town, man. Like, I went to Dickinson. I've been going back and forth to Dickinson because that's where the Walmart's at. And uh, that's an oil rig town, like a oil boom town, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, man, that's, it's cool. Like it's got like a, I don't know if you're from Massachusetts, but Patrick, this one uh, is for you. It's from, it's got like a Fitchburg feel to it. You know what I'm saying? It's got like a Fitchburg feel. But then you go up to where my cousin's at, Watford City. It's got like a New Hampshire type feel to it. It's more like, it's like a New Hampshire type city, I would say, with a little bit of Providence in there. And then when you go up to Wilson, Wilson's like, boom! It's like a mountains and shit. It's like you know what's good, what's the money's right there because you see people, you see nothing but oil shit, man. That's it. So these people are making money up here. Um, I was talking to my friend Sam and she was saying that the oil's all dried up up here, but they, that couldn't be true. Um, I, I'm gonna find out more because I'm gonna be working in it tomorrow or the next day once I get my training all done. Um, so yeah, y'all, I'm excited, man. I hope y'all are excited too to see the next video to see what what goes on. But yeah, I, I don't want I don't want to talk shit about that farmer, man. But he was on some bullshit, and he knows it. You know what I mean? The universe knows it. The universe sees it. But uh, at the end of the day, man, that's my karmic debt, man, because I'm a human being too, and I've I probably treated people like that in my past. Why well, I, I know I have. And uh, that's karmic debt coming back. I gotta pay it. I gotta pay it back, you know what I mean? Because I treated somebody like that. Now somebody's gonna treat me like that. And that's just karmic debt, man. That's why I just gotta sit back and laugh when, when people get angry at, at me about stupid shit or shit I didn't even do, man. Because I probably have done the same shit. And for me to get mad at them, it's ridiculous. So with that, guys, that's the end of the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also hit the bell, the notification bell. It's very important. And comment, man. I need your comments. Let me know I'm doing a good job, a bad job, whatever. If you want to see the next video, go ahead and drop a comment to let me know what type of video you want me to drop, man. They're coming, man. One way or the other. I'm going to keep recording. I'm enjoying this, man. I'm enjoying it as a hobby. So I'm going to keep you all informed, and I hope you like it, man. All right, peace. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to remind y'all to be grateful for what you got today. And more of that will come, you know? Like, just staying grateful for a simple ass shit and it'll multiply, you know? Because I know the flip side of that when I'm um, focusing on all the negative in my life and all the stuff I don't have, it contributes to more of that. You know what I mean? Because I'm focused on, oh, I don't have this. And then my brain goes, hey, you don't have this. You don't have that either. You don't have shit. And it keeps going and going and going and negative, negative, negative. That's why it's important for us to focus on the positive and stay grateful for what we do have. Like, take this basketball, for example. You know what I'm saying? This basketball, it's older. You know what I mean? I bought it brand new. Um, probably two years ago, as you can see, I've, I've used the fuck out of it. I man, I just shouldn't have it. But see, that basketball, I'm grateful for it. You know what I mean? For example, I'm very grateful for that basketball. It's going to attract more sports, more activity, more basketball. You know what I mean? If I'm like, oh, shit, that basketball is a piece of shit and I just leave it somewhere, then basketball, the love of my life, is out of my life. You know what I mean? It's about that. You know what I mean? That concept of being grateful for what you have right now man i can't stress it enough be grateful for what you truly have right now and more stuff will come your way that's better than what you have right now if not just more plentiful more more good stuff more good people you know what i mean everything that you want in life starts from being grateful man be thankful be grateful kill it today like comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification all right y'all